What's going on guys? Um, I bet you realize that I put a wedding video up, which might be strange for a poker vlog, but there are several reasons that that actually is there. A, first and foremost, that I love my friends and I'll always do them favors and make them beautiful things that they can look back on, especially for beautiful moments like that. But B, I know this whole crew through playing poker, so there is some relevance there. And as you saw, if you watched that video, we ran into Ryan Reese. So we spent the night all hanging out, talking poker, and we got some cool information. Um, got to check in, see what he was doing. So I hope you enjoy this short little interview with Ryan Reese. And uh, next vlog will be coming really soon. I'm working pretty hard, guys. Coming at ya. Yeah. It's like I'm trying to smoke a blunt and my spliff ain't ripping. Like this. Like just in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think I made a mistake. Yeah. I'm still beating myself. Uh, that was like 10 days ago. So, <laughs> all the money's up top in poker tournaments. They're all in like the top three. So, right, you're, you're you really have to get up there. And if you don't, like, you're just leaving a lot of money. Right, the mistakes are magnified. Like, you, you, you better be like. You might, variance might, like, you know, smack you in the face, but you better feel like your decisions are really optimal when you're it's, it's so working hard. your way from that. It's so hard to get to the final table on this big tournament, so when you do, you really have to, like, play perfect. Like, if you make mistakes, you're just torching so much more. One of, the, one of the most, I guess I would use the word effective, one of the best poker players I personally know it was when he was online grinding. And um, I remember looking at his shark scope, and his ROI was 96%. Uh, you, you wouldn't know him, he's out of Kansas City. He's, he's never played big tournaments, but his average buy in was $26. Story. I swear on my life, this is a true story. We are sitting there on $5 Monday night pitchers, $10 Manic Monday tournament at Trippers. It's a revive tournament. Ryan and I have not met yet. This is one of the first few times at Trippers. Ryan and I go to the bar. I don't know how we handle it, but Ryan ends up losing a 
and buying the pitcher, he uses his card and he signs his name with his card. I grab the receipt and I say, I'm going to keep this just in case it's worth anything someday. Oddly enough, I keep that receipt in my wallet for about six months. I have the receipt in my wallet when Ryan wins the CPC that we were supposed to go down to together on that trip. I, 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 end up, I end up I end up jumping in the pool in excess the same year that Ryan wins the main event and getting that same receipt wet. That receipt gets wet the year that Ryan wins the main event. Kept that receipt in my wallet for the five dollar and thirty cent picture. <laughs> I could keep it until it finally got soaked and just withered away. But with the withering away of that receipt, Ryan was made of then. It's a good year. It's a good year. And is there a good poker there? No poker in New Zealand. But in, um, so I went over to Australia for the Aussie Millions. And then there was a week. Uh, after the poker ended, I went to New Zealand for a week. And then I actually went back to Australia for an Eminem concert. Oh, nice. Eminem had a concert in Melbourne. Nice. It was awesome. You can't beat that. It's awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah.